Good morning. It's Tuesday, May 5th. And yesterday, last night, I was went on to this blog. Uh, actually, this page, Proverbs 31 Ministries, which I heard about at the um, Women's Bible Conference this weekend. And I looked up the blogs from Lisa Turkhurst, who is, was the speaker. And I just read the first one from um, a few days ago. And it was about building margin into your life. So building space, just like how uh, paper has margins. It is the same concept, building space into our lives so we're not overextending ourselves. And so yesterday at work, I was just so overwhelmed and just running from one thing to the next. And I was just praying like, God, can you can you help me have, have margin in my life and, ha and have in intention and focus? And so it was so, such a coincidence or a God moment that I came across, across this blog. And it was just awesome. It, it said, um, the author said she now puts 15 minutes of time um, as a buffer for whatever she sets, like an appointment or, or if she thinks she's going to complete something, she adds a 15 minute buffer. And so if she uses it, then that's good. And if she doesn't even, then she has extra time to breathe. So I really like that idea. And, uh, she said when we are over extent, we overestimate what we think we're capable of and underestimate the time it takes. And it was just, exactly how I was feeling. So then I researched other blogs that just talked about, um, like, what does the Bible say about creating space in your life? And it's really neat because it's another bound, I'm working on boundaries, and it's another boundary that you set in your own life. And I just think that's really neat. So my prayer for you is that if you are like me and you just are always late, running from one thing to the next, that um, God would reveal to you also the boundary of margin and uh, that you would be able to practice it with his help, of course. So uh, today I canceled a lunch that I had that wasn't a, a necessary lunch in order to kind of create more margin in my day. So I'm excited about that. I hope you all have a wonderful Tuesday.